Hey everybody, I uh, am making a video tonight without really a whole lot of anything in mind to to show you. I'm kind of giving up on the cooking part of the videos and if I'm able to do it fine and if not fine, every time I go to uh, cook something and ask Randy you know, if he wants what I'm thinking about cooking and all, he tells me just to sit down and relax and I do too much and uh, so I do. And I just, um, I don't know, it makes me feel bad because I want to do the cooking and I know that was a big part of my channel, but for the time being anyway, you're just gonna have to see my lovely face talk because I really don't think I'm able to cook. I've had, I'm really out of it right now. I've been dizzy for <clears throat> two or three weeks. But tonight I'm really, really dizzy and I, uh, I don't know how many of you know or realize that my left hip, the one that I fell on and broke, has hurt me and bothered me ever since I had it fixed. And um, now it's starting to develop like what I feel like are pockets of infection. They're real big um, just like pockets of something under the skin. It started with my left leg and then it traveled over to my right leg and then my left arm and now my right arm. My uh, left leg is the worst. The others, I can tell there's something going on and there's a little pain, but it's nothing very serious. But my left leg is really something else and I'm going to have to go to the doctor about it and see what's going on. So, uh, if this video is uh, not up to par, I apologize. But today is, um, I think it's Wednesday. And um, one thing I did at Christmas is I made bags out of Christmas paper last year so that this year I would have them ready. And they're just like a brown paper bag, except, of course, you can put your present in it. And that really helped. I made a bunch of them up last year after Christmas. Excuse me. In 2022. I made a bunch of them up, and then a few days ago, when, as usual, I wait till the last second to get my presents wrapped or picked up or whatever, uh, um, I had those bags, and it made it so easy to just throw whatever in the bag and tape it up and there you go. Talking about being late, uh, getting presents. Every year I like to give my kids, my kids, not my grandkids or anybody else, but my kids, all the same thing uh, of one thing. And... Um, it be something really nice for them. So a couple, maybe three years ago, 
or two years ago. Anyway, Amazon had the, I'm not going to probably say this right, the Alexa dot. Or anyway, uh, it does all kinds of things, plays music, will answer questions, and it's really nifty. If you can get one, you, you should. It's really uh, great. So I gave that to each one of the kids, and they really love that and still use it. Well, this year, I decided to give the kids lottery tickets, and uh, I got them each 10 lottery tickets, the Powerball Power Play, and I did not know they had gone up in price, but they're $2 each, and then if you do the Power Play, they're an extra dollar. So, Kaylin got one number plus the Powerball number, and I think she won $4, but because she got the Powerball number, would that be 8 that she won? I don't know, but she thinks she won the Powerball million dollar prize, so we'll just let her think that. And, and uh, enjoy herself with that. And we got her the Oculus is what she really wanted. And so we got that for her. And uh, she's very tickled to have that. And um, I'll tell you a little story about that. When I got it, I uh, ordered it from Amazon and so Amazon sent it, and Randy opened the box, and he just lifts it out. He's waving it all over at me, going, Who's is this? Who's is this? What is it? And all this. And I'm like, Put it back in the box. Put it back in the box. Well, of course, Kaylin saw it, and she uh, knew it was hers. And I said, Kaylin, that is not yours. You go to school with a little boy, and uh, his mother asked me if I could put it here at my house so that he wouldn't see it and his Christmas be ruined. And I told her that we'd do that. And if you get one, then uh, we'll have it here too. But for right now, that belongs to the little boy so then it came time to wrap it and i wrapped it and on the gift tag i put to freddie from mommy and daddy to try to throw her off which she didn't believe me the whole time my little story i made up and so when we were putting the gift tag on it randy said freddie and i said yeah we're just putting freddie so We'll throw Kaylin off on who it's really for. And he said, oh. So she opened it that, well, she took it and she looked at the gift tag uh, to make sure it was hers because Randy had already given her somebody else's present that she opened. But she looked at that one and she said, this says to Freddie. And instead of you know, having a little fun with it, Randy immediately goes, that's yours. And I wanted to pop him on his noggin because twice he messed up on giving that present to her. But anyway, she loved it and uh, is having a ball with it. And um, so that is that. But I wanted to show you my toboggan that I'm working on. And as I said, I will put the pattern for this one, which I'm going to call the Jan. And the other one, I'm going to call the Randy. And Randy has worn that toboggan inside the house. 
ever since he got it. He says his head is cold and he wears that toboggan uh, all over the house and I'm glad. Makes me feel good and it looks cute on him and all that, but anyway. I will finish up. I'm, right now I'm putting the band that, you know, goes around it. And if I work on it tonight, I'll finish it tonight. But if not, then I'll finish it tomorrow. But on one side, it's just pretty much plain. And on the other side, it has these ridges in it and I'm going to use the ridges side as the outside and so I made the pattern up which come to find out it's really not hard at all making a pattern up I have in my mind what I want to do for another pattern and it's going to be a lot harder but we'll see when i start making it if i can do it and i had started crocheting granny squares and i was gonna put them together and then hand sew them to the bottom of a jean jacket where it would be kind of a 70s retro jean jacket with the the uh, granny squares on it and the material or the yarn i used was somewhat like this it just didn't have the brighter teal and all that it was a little more earth tones i really love this yarn uh next time i'll have to get it and show you what kind it is in case you crochet and I'll have to show you what else I'm gonna start but my very next project is doing the jean jacket with the granny squares but uh, there's that and then I want to show you my cards and this is two days worth of cards yesterday I got a zillion cards and today I got two cards so two cards is better than no cards and I can't hardly give them out and I want to thank y'all again for sending me the cards you don't know how much I love getting them and reading them and looking at them and all that. It's really meant a lot to me, more than I think you'll probably ever know. But in, I'm going to go ahead and start. And this first card, the lady wrote me a note and isn't that pretty it's a beautiful card I can't see very well tonight so I'm, I'll just do my best showing these oh this has it's a homemade card and it's beautiful but there's a picture on the other side of a little girl by a, a reindeer, I think. And I don't know if that's a real little girl or a picture. But I don't know that I should show it. Because it doesn't say not to. But I don't like to show things that, that I shouldn't. So I'm just telling you, it's a reindeer with a beautiful little girl beside of it. And thank you for that. And then I got 
well I try to separate these okay I got this card these three cards stuck together now I'm not sure I think I have it right there's a picture of the family which I'm not going to show because I'm weird that way. But look at that beautiful card. Isn't that beautiful? Thank y'all family. And I believe, I'm not sure. Oh, this makes me, makes me upset. Anyway, in one of these next couple cards, this little guy goes with whoever's in it. And uh, anyway, he's a beautiful chocolate, maybe lab. I don't know, but he is a beauty. And I got hot chocolate and mittens and a cat. And look at this. You know, I love these. I call them mechanical cards. Isn't that something? Their little skinny arms and all oh, that's so adorable. And I've done it again. Okay. In this one, they sent me a note. And there's the Cardinals again. And I think that the red one is the boy and the brown one is the girl, I think. But it's beautiful. And then this cute little card, Believe in Christmas Spirit. Thinking of you, little sweet puppy. You can come home and live with me. And this little kitty up on the mantle, enjoying everything going on around him. And you know the truck with the tree I love that. And this one sure is pretty. It's kind of 3D. This house sticks out a little bit. But Santa is delivering all the toys and goodies. And I hope somebody has left him something better than water. And another red bird. Red birds are just the perfect bird for Christmas. And this card, little skinny arm snowman again. So cute. I love cute things, if you can't tell. She sent two bookmark top uh, things, which I can use. I can always use that. Another cardinal. So pretty. A sleigh. I don't think I've had very many sleighs this year. Beautiful church. And 
and this lady sent there's a picture of her family inside which of course I'm not going to show but uh Anyway, let me see on this if it has just her name anywhere. Well, I can't tell. So, I'll just not try. But it tells all about the family. I'm going to tell you what. These are some smart people. But, uh, like I said, the family picture's in there. And here is the card. Beautiful, beautiful card. And this lady, I can show you the front because... That's my address, but look at her beautiful handwriting. I would love to be able to write like that. If anybody knows of a website that will teach you how to write pretty, let me know because my writing is just all over the place and uh, I love the way people uh, will have every letter the same size and neat and pretty and they look like they should all belong in the same family of letters instead of one's a hip hop A and the other's a country B and another's a classical C. I want them all to be disco. I want my card to be a disco card with nobody jumping in or anything like that. And then here is a beautiful, beautiful card. And it's got that that uh, kind of makes it look 3D. And two bookmarks and like I said I can always use bookmarks so that is my little talk and and everything for today and uh, um, I can't think of anything that might interest you so I will let you go and I hope you have a wonderful evening, and I hope tomorrow is better than today, and that you just um, are blessed. Every turn you make, you're blessed, or you're blessing somebody. And I hope you're showing your kindness, because I know I have got a, a lot of people here that are so kind and sweet and loving and uh i'm just blessed so thank you so much and i will see you soon bye bye